Thanks a lot, Jerry. Big 4A matchup on Pittsburgh CW tomorrow night. Montour hosting undefeated El Equipa. The Quips have tradition on their side. For years, El Equipa has been the most successful high school football program in Western PA. They've sent dozens of players to major college teams and have churned out some of the best players in NFL history, like Mike Ditka, Ty Law, Darrell Rivas. And they've done it while voluntarily playing schools that are bigger than them, just like they decided to do this offseason. We always uh, made that choice to play up, which is that's our choice. Um, that's something we can't argue about or, or complain about. Um, we were going to decide, I believe, to stay in 3A, which is still two divisions higher than what we, our enrollment is. After deciding to play up two classes from 1A to 3A, Aliquippa was informed by the PIAA that they would be affected by something called the competitive balance formula, which takes into account every school's postseason record and the number of students who transfer into the program. That new formula forced Aliquippa up one more classification into 4A. It's unfair. Um, it's not right. Um, our kids are, we're a single A school, you know, playing against 4A schools, um, double and sometimes triple um, the enrollment. The competitive balance formula was originally created to quell the argument that private schools had an advantage over public schools because of students transferring into their programs. Who comes to Aliquippa? Aliquippa kids. Families from Aliquippa. That's all who's here. Our kids are transient. They might have to live here for a period of time, then they might have to move somewhere else. Um, they're trying to survive. The coaches and administrators weren't the only ones taken aback by the state's ruling. Honestly, I was shocked for real. A lot of us were shocked, but uh, we can't make any excuses. I mean, we're still going to play. Despite now playing up three classes higher than they should be, El is still rolling. They're undefeated and in first place in their conference headed into week six of the Whippeal season, and they wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, we definitely have a chip on our shoulder. I mean, a lot of people thought we were going to suck in 4A, but, you know, we're still going strong. All right, Al Equipa and Montour tomorrow night on Pittsburgh CW. Kickoff set for seven. Jared T. Barton, Chris Snyder have the call. I'm